What's that? I'm paid up, leave me be. We're not here to collect. We need... Huh? This can't be. Can it? Is that the symbol of the hall? The horror of... Uh... Horadrim? Yes! Horadrim! Deca? Deca Key! Holy shit, it's Can Mishi? It be you, old friend? It's me! Mishi! Holy no. shit! Deckard is gone. My name Mishi is, is still Lord. alive? We need your help passing through the sandstorm to the north. Sandstorm, eh? Yeah, this must have turned you down. Told you some rubbish about a sorcerer, I'll wager. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I was well, genuinely surprised to see him. What can a sorcerer do to me that time hasn't already? <laughs> yes, yes. I'll help. There's an old chapel near there, an auspicious spot to begin a new adventure. Good. Gather whatever you need. I'll fetch Thais and meet you there. Ha! This is wonderful! Like old times, eh, Deckard? <laughs> Dude, that's gotta, like, make Lorath feel so fucking old that he's being mistaken for Deckard. Like, way to just look at someone in the face and be like, you look old as shit, dude. <laughs> You look like that guy who was ancient when you were already a very young man. Oh my god, it's so cool to see Mishif again. That's awesome. D Mishif does not make an appearance in Diablo 3, right? He's... I know he's in Diablo 2. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's slick, though. I always love running into old characters. Though it's really sad that Mishif seems to... Either he's drugged out of his mind, or which is totally possible, because he looked like he was in an opium den, or he is... Like, his sanity is a little... Which also would make sense in this universe, but would make me much more sad. Hopefully it's just that he was, like, high as shit. And not that he's got, like, Alzheimer's or something. Where am I going? Okay. So who's ready for... Have I played Diablo 2 also? Yes. Sadly, I've never beaten Diablo 2, which is embarrassing to say. I need to hurry up and get that done. Get that off my bucket list one of these days. Um, but I have played through it a lot. Like, I've played through the games many times. I just always end up getting distracted and never finishing it. Um, I, I, when I was very young, um, I got up to fighting Diablo, but I wasn't able to beat him because I ran like a really bad, not optimal build because I was young and didn't really understand what I was doing very well. And although I was able to get to Diablo, I couldn't, I couldn't kill him. Um, so I never did. And then now that I'm older, I just keep getting distracted by other things. So I always end up getting distracted, you know, always end up not finishing the game. That being said, I like, I know it very well. I've, I've seen my older brother beat the game when I was little. Because my little, my older brother is how I got into Diablo in the first place. Because my older brother was that kind of stereotype of like, he was a hardcore jock, but like secretly he really, really enjoyed nerdy things but he was like very private about the nerdy aspects, like the nerdy things that he liked. Tomorrow, 
for anyone that cares or is curious, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be my first YouTube stream back in like months, if not years. Um, but I will be returning to YouTube to do a Total War Warhammer stream. Uh, mainly because I want to just, you know, announce that I'm back. And B, um, drum up interest and support for the Malakit stream on Sunday, which will be streamed both on Twitch and on YouTube simultaneously. Uh, because I can do that very easily now with the uh, software we're using. Um, very, very excited for that. I am almost done with my prep for it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for Andy because hopefully if he's feeling well enough, he's going to the Chaos Rising premiere tomorrow. Because I got him hooked up with tickets. So... I hope he has a really good time with that, and then he'll be all hopefully jazzed up and ready to go on Sunday. Yeah, Malekith is a very, very good character. He's a lot of fun. He's got, a, he's got a ton of story to him. There's, like, a lot to explore. Should be a pretty good time. Blasted scarp. This is a very isolated little church. Ah, you're here. Deckard is inside with your friend. Okay, yeah, no, he's just got like Alzheimer's. Oh. The moment we stepped inside, Andaria grew desperate. But her screams are only a whisper now. This is holy ground. Her influence will be weaker here. Everyone ready? I am. Up to Taisa, whether she'll join us, though. Every part of me wants to walk through that storm and draw Elias' blood. But... Perhaps he is counting on my vengeance to lead me back to him. So he can finish what he started. It is safer for everyone if I stay. No shame in that. It's the wise choice. We'll bring you his hat. It's still kind of weird to me that Lorath isn't like, yeah, we should probably just stab this bitch and be done with it. Is there anything I can do to help you? No. I've been a burden for you already. One day, I will find a way to help you. Did I read the Total War Warhammer 3 developer update that came out today? Uh, I, yes, I brief, I brief, actually, no, no, I haven't. Um, but I'm going to make a video on it. I did read the, um... The, somebody was digging around the files and found all of the upcoming new landmark buildings, um, and I didn't see that. Um, but I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about everything in a video that I'm going to make tonight that'll come out tomorrow. What does Andariel say to you? Terrible things, mad things. She knows of Lilith's return and what Elias is planning, but Andariel does not care who wins, only that someone loses. And that their suffering is extreme. That's cool. I like that Andario doesn't give a shit who wins. She's not like the primes. She, she's like, I don't give a damn. Tell me about Deckard Kane. Ha! <laughs> Hasn't told you much about himself, eh? <laughs> I remember when he couldn't stop him from talking. We met several lifetimes ago. In Aranak, I believe. Oh, maybe Lutgalain. That's right. Oh, Me, she's sailor the sailor. And a handsome one, too. Deckard was always such an intense fellow. 
but kind and dependable. Took it upon himself to right any wrong he found. <laughs> and we found many. To think I would find them here of all places. Still just as intense and still traveling with interesting company. <laughs> Are you prepared? <laughs> Are you? Oh, I hope you've lined your pockets with healing drafts. Uh, if not, help yourself to the ones I keep on old Isabella here. Uh, storm's going to get worse, too. I can smell it. When it starts to kick up, we'll have to find something to shelter us. Or there'll be nothing left of us but bones and stories. Bones? I love bones. But anyway, um, did Andy make a cameo in the movie? No, uh, I don't think Andy knew Chaos Rising was a thing until I told him about it relatively recently. Like, I, I only told him about it, like, I don't know, maybe two, two, three weeks ago. Um... lot of damage. Hey, Fig off, what's up? Why have you stopped here? <sighs> Just savoring the moment. This is going to be a trek to remember, eh, Deckard? I can't wait. <laughs> Laura doesn't even try to correct him anymore. All right, here we go. Oh, there's no mini map here. Wow, Loroth refusing a drink. Good for him. Seems it's dying down. <laughs> Onward! Lead the way, old, you old coop. Wait, are these? Yeah, okay, these are. Kicking up again. This way. 
This area sucks. Oh, I got like big boy poisoned. Betrayal, Deckard. And you know I won't. Come on, then. Wait, what's over here? I'll just war. Some there'd be like a Lilith statue or something. That was a swing and a miss. Did not wait for us. Schema, what's up? How are you doing? We're being swarmed. Keep his I appreciate the constant damage. got womboed by tornadoes. Wow, those things have kind of a bullshit radius, but all right, whatever. Could you imagine if this was a hardcore playthrough and I just like, oh, that's stupid. You can't climb there. Did you imagine that was hardcore and I literally just like fucking died? <laughs> it's like, that's it. Run over. Man, this area is so unpleasant. finished reading Demon Slayer and I don't get it why is there like a random apocalypse nobody remembers a year later what do you mean by apocalypse
Because I don't, I don't think I'd call anything in that book an apocalypse, per se. Some pretty important stuff happens, but... It's not really an end-of-the-world scenario. It's more of a self-contained event. All right, we're here. Please. Quest, please. Almost an apocalypse of the Chaos Horde wouldn't have stopped, been stopped at Prague and is described as being equal to, if not worse, the Great War. Oh, do you mean Beast Slayer? Oh man, how, how do I unbug this? Oh, there we go. Do you remember the smell of the salt air on the ocean? No shade or devil could stand in our way. Been all across this world since then. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. But it was never quite the same. Wandering without a direction, it was just... waiting. Aye. It's important to have something to walk towards. <laughs> One foot in front of the other, eh, hey, old friend? If we stop walking, we die. <laughs> that being said, Sounds um... Sounds like the winds have calmed. The, the, the big thing with, um, Kislev is, like, the... The absolute brutal thing about Kislev is that they are facing those levels of, like, conquest and threats constantly like every single spring there are like a whole bunch of chaos hordes and legions and other nonsense that come charging through their area um in order to like attack them and try and you know push their way into the empire or sack important cities and stuff like that like kislev is an exceptionally dangerous place to live in um for that reason, it, that, it, it never ends. Like, it is it is forever on the defensive. Um, constantly being invaded by chaos armies. Some big, some small. Um, Eric Demonclaw's legion is pretty powerful. Um, one of the stronger ones. Yeah, that wasn't half as dangerous as the others made it seem. <laughs> Yo, leveled up. I can almost get... I can almost get some new goodies. Look at this. To think such an intriguing place was hidden beyond the storm. A relic from the old days of Kedjistan, maybe. Lost to time until Elias seized it. He must have stole some treasure, eh? Masif, don't move. Don't speak to anyone. There is great danger lurking here. You've grown fearful in your old age, my friend. But worry not. I will stay put. Uh, can I tell you about Baltor the Bloodthirster? According to Total War Warhammer 3, he is held prisoner by the Chaos Dwarfs. Um, I think probably what they did there was just make, like, a fun little nod to the character. Because he has nothing to do with the Chaos Dwarfs. Uh, oh gosh. 
I'm trying to find a certain page. I'm trying to find the page where the demon like introduces itself. it introduces itself at the beginning of the battle let's see Hmm. <laughs> Let me see here. Now this has my interest. Okay, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. Baltor is not Baltor is not the bloodthirster. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. I don't know, man, can you tell that I'm just, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I completely misread what you asked me, Lally. For some reason, I thought you, I'm, I'm stupid. 
Um, I heard the calling in a dream. <laughs> I saw an army at the mother's side, ready to wage war against hell. And I was among her followers, reborn anew with her power. Yeah, sorry, I got... <laughs> I feel so stupid. Um, for so I, I somehow in my head got mixed up between what you said and what some um somebody else said um thinking that you were asking about the bloodthirster from demon slayer being named baltor and i'm like i'm pretty sure he doesn't have a name and he doesn't have a name <laughs> um you were not asking that um yeah so sorry um so yes um so the the chaos dwarves did not imprison him there he was actually imprisoned by an ogre tyrant um so there is a so the demon stump which is where the um uh where baltor is contained he got trapped there um by an ogre tyrant because an ogre tyrant quite literally crushed him um beneath a prison which is in the i want to say it's in the ogre kingdoms book 